What's up guys, Austin Numa here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the orange and teal look. Now I know that there are tons of videos out there that cover the theory behind the orange and teal look, but I'm going to be touching briefly on that, but mostly this tutorial will be focused on actually getting this inside Adobe Premiere Pro without any LUTs or layovers or plugins, all right inside Lumetri. Before we begin, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn post notifications on. So I've got my fresh clip laid out on the time. Timeline. This is something that I filmed out in San Fran earlier this year. While I have this clip selected, I'm going to go to my Lumetri color panel. I'm going to bring up color wheels. Now, just to go over briefly what color wheels are, these are little wheels that you can use to punch in different tints into different areas of your image, such as if we wanted to introduce green into the highlights here, we would go down here and select green on the color wheel. If we wanted to introduce some pink into the midtones, then we would just go and select pink on the color wheel. Now, what the orange and teal look does is the same principle. It introduces a certain color into certain areas of the image. And the reason why it's so punchy and cinematic is because you have orange on this side of the color wheel and it contrasts so well with teal on the opposite side of the color wheel. That's why you get that really good contrast when using this look. So what we're going to want to do is go over to your shadows and pull those down to right about here with your blues. And this is also going to vary on the kind of look that you want. I'm just going to show you the principle behind this. And I might actually pull these down here just a little bit more. Now what we want to do is punch up our mid-tones in the orange section too. Once again, contrasting between these two. And then we're going to do this in the highlights as well, but maybe a little bit more to kind of answer that blue on the other side. So right about there, that's as simple as getting this orange and teal look is uh, inside Adobe Premiere. So if you did learn something from this video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.